Stay ready. Bam! Hey, folks. Welcome, welcome. Uh, it's Friday. It looks like we have sound. Hopefully that's a thing. Uh, my mom, who tends to watch this uh, later on, actually watched it for quite a while and was like, thought she had broken her phone because she didn't get any sound on it. Yeah. That she was hadn't. Last week. It was yeah. just uh, just a thing from last week. Yeah. All right, let me turn this off so I have to watch ourselves do things in delay. What? Me doing things like this <laughs> just, for a while? Yeah, it was funny. Uh, hey, folks, what's up? Bill and Harry and Fergal and Mike and Laura and Louisa and Blake. Huh, huh, huh. That's what you sounded like. You just sounded like you weren't even saying people's names. Those are people's, human person's huh, names. Huh, huh, Blake, Mary, Sound Mary. is good? Great. Forgot you were doing 5 p.m., thought you missed it. No, we're doing 5 p.m. at least this month. Uh, I was going to see how it goes. Um, hopefully it'll work better for people a little bit. I know it might be kind of even later over uh, in Europe and such, but um, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Uh, I have uh, I have school stuff the next couple of weeks that will preclude me doing it at 4. Um, next week, I definitely won't be able to do it until 5. The week after that, I might have to skip it entirely. <gasps> I know, um, but school stuff, man. Gotta gotta do that stuff. So we moved it to five for October, and we'll see how it goes. Maybe this will be a permanent time. Maybe I'll go back to four. Um, it is kind of nice. Do we see Audrey's cool pen? Yes. Yeah, you do. She's actually got like three cool pens. Uh, so it's 11 p.m. in Italy. Well, I hope that's not too late. Hey, Colorado show. What's up, Becky? Um, you notice the door is closed and all my... My bags are exposed up here. Not all all your bags? That's not all your bags. <laughs> okay, so maybe there are like three that... Mm -hmm, there's more bags. There's like... Well, and then there's some in the closet. That's fine. I know. I'm yeah. saying. That so I have some bags. Um, yeah, so today is the beginning of the Colorado Pin Show. So, hey, Colorado Pin Show. Hopefully you're having fun out there. Uh, Indoors. Yeah. Because snow. Yeah, it's snowing there, apparently. Or it did snow. I don't know. It's cold. It's in... Yeah. And it's bag cold. Shaming? Yeah. yeah. Bag shaming. She's not really shaming me about we, that. We have our <laughs> own hobbies. Yeah, yeah. That, I mean, Audrey gets things. to use them too when she wants. So it's. No, I don't use them. You do sometimes. Yeah. Mm -mm, no, it's not true. Well, whatever, man. I could, but I don't. Yeah, you could. Um, I did. Uh, I posted a bag review this week, which like was not super popular apparently. But you know, whatever. I hear people don't like your bag reviews. That's what I hear. No, yeah. <laughs> um, what's up, new specs? Yeah. So these are my other pair of new specs, not the super bright orangey red ones, which I thought might clash with my uh, sport my SMU Mustangs gear. Go ponies! Uh, we're kicking butt in the footballs right now. Go ponies! <laughs> is that what that was? Yeah, it was. <laughs> Snow's mostly melted all as well, says Becky. Mm. Uh, yep. Uh, do you save the orange glasses for bag videos? Uh, no, I wear those actually. I have like three pairs of glasses right now that I'm actively like wearing. Um, just because my prescription didn't really change much. Yeah, and I so, have like how many pairs? Several. Five, yeah. six pairs of glasses. Because her eyes don't really get worse. Don't. So This is wood. Yeah, well they've actually been getting better is what it seems like. So, uh, you just thumbs up this video. Thanks, Brian. Appreciate oh. you, bro. Um, let's see, like both the bag and the review. Yeah, cool. I really liked that bag. It just That's wasn't, cool man, I like that so much. Uh, I was very sad to take it back, but I did. Uh, colors are a bit odd. I get it. That's the, that's like probably the weirdest variety of that bag. It was, definitely. Um, they have them in dark blues and black and red and like all kinds of cool colors, but, uh, that one really, that one really called to me with all its but, crazy but, partiness. Yeah, it's a very specific person or client, yeah. your consumer. Yeah. And that's Mike. Yeah. Yep. And those are actually pretty tame compared to the rest of the Cotopaxi bags, which oh, are... Oh, gosh. Some of those Diablo ones are... Wild! Or Dia... Dia? Or some... I don't remember. Anyway. Dia Diabella or something, something like that. But, uh, yeah, they're just... They make them from scraps. Actually, let me go ahead and just pull that website up since we're talking about it. Yeah, the maker gets just... No two bags are the same. Everyone gets to pick their colors from whatever scraps are left over. Yeah, so you can like just say, like send me a surprise. Yeah, it can which... be a surprise one or one specific. You could also buy one specific backpack. Backpacks. Del Dia. Del Dia. Yeah. So. Uh, wow, here. that's intense. Yeah. Ooh, so I like the tote too. This one, the, yeah. the convertible tote. I do. It's cool. Like it's only fifty bucks. Might have to snag that. Um, so yeah, they got totes, they got backpacks, but like these are all made of just like scraps and cast offs from other bags. And so they just sort of like grab pieces. And so you never know exactly what it's going to look like unless you buy this particular one. There's only one of them. So that's pretty cool. And it means that there's not just a bunch of junk going into their, uh, you know, the waste the system. The top one, the 16 liter has yeah. a bunch of colors. They click on that one. 
At least last time I looked from last week. Oh yeah. Like oh, and see, see lots of different ways. You can see like a bunch of them are sold because that was just that was the one. Mm -hmm. But yeah, those are pretty cool. I don't know. I'm a little tempted by that. If it's 15 inch laptops, that's not too bad. And they're fairly inexpensive. It's Straps full, are always very it nice. It says full wrap, zippered, nice, nice too. That's good. Yeah, that's cool. I mean, maybe I have to try one of those out. But you know, there you go. They're uh, you know just making stuff, which I think is pretty cool. So. Uh, anyway, I mean, these are, and there's a surprise me button, yeah. which I'm actually pretty tempted by. So like 80 bucks for this backpack isn't bad. 16 liters is a little small, but I think it's doable. And if you don't like it, I could always take it. Yeah. Or, you know, it's good too. Um, let's see. Uh, why do you think you couldn't convert the large main pocket to another use? The thing had so much going for it. Well, the problem is that, so like for my uses, when I go to school, I just want to be able to like reach in there and like just grab stuff. And so that one, when you zip it up, like, there's a little bit of room in between the mesh panels, but it's not much. And so I put a couple of things in there, like um, my rotor fat and Toshin glider, and <laughs> it's fun to say. I, yeah. And uh, my, my Galen portfolio and stuff. And, like, they didn't really want to get in there, and they like they'd get kind of caught on the mesh. And, yeah, it's, like, if they made, a, like, a zipper that goes all the way around, I like, just take the mesh out, man, I would use that all the time. I was even a little bit tempted to, like, cut one side out, like... I know. Then I was like, nope, stop. Just, just don't, don't do it. He's got a, you got a $35 A5 rotor fadden? Dude, nice. Oh, I Somebody saw that. Somebody was selling, yeah. I was like, oh, Mike's getting, yeah. but it was already. Taken. No, I've already got one, so I don't need two. But yeah, no, that's a great deal. That's, that's around what I paid for mine, actually, like third hand, so. They are, you got yours not online. You got yours in person, so. I did, Bill but from, was a, asking. from a slacker. Oh. No, um, I'm talking about They sold retail. I see it live. Uh, sorry, Bill, which one are you talking about? If you're talking about the, what is that? Oh, are you talking about the Cody backpack? Paxi? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I found that in a, I found that in a store. What was that called? It's only in North Carolina. Oh, it is. So, okay, but, um, I mean, I actually forget where these are made. They are they have... Bolivian or something like that? But yeah, they are sold, they are sold in retail, so you can definitely find them. Does it have a store locator? Um, I don't know. the bottom, keep going. Let me see. I'm scrolling through things. This is this is good. Uh, this is good video. Um, Men's, women's. I don't know. There's a site map. Uh, where? Sorry. To the left. To right. the left. Oh, site map. They're also a certified B company, so they're like, um, like they give a a, a good portion, like a portion of their um profits and stores. stuff away. And just, can you be more specific? There's a lot where of words. It says stores. It's in oh, alphabetical good. order. So. Well, look. There's a whole lot of. Here, here's what I'm looking at. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff. Let's see. Oh, they don't. Oh, never mind. That's not very. Oh, those are just all. those are just their two stores. If they're you happen cheap. to be in Utah, which is where I guess these are made. Apparently, uh, no, they're not made there. But because oh. they had a thing about their factories and stuff. Anyway, whatever. I don't know enough about that company, but it does look. It seems good. So. Um, Thank you, Sarah. Had a bunch of handles. So you can use them in a variety of ways, not just backpack. Yeah. So actually, before I took it and turned it in. I put all the straps in behind the back panel. It was a very nice briefcase-y like situation. Mm. So anyway, I'm using the Lockview one lately. I'm really digging it. Dry wax canvas and yellow orange interior. That sounds cool. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. All right. Um, but yeah, definitely. Uh, I mean, yeah, like the rotor fed and Tosh McGlider is like 150 bucks, but they're all like, you can get them custom and stuff for not much more. And that's pretty cool. I mean, they're expensive, but it's not wearing out. So, I mean, mine's third hand and it still looks basically new. So. Yeah, you got yours off Tammy, right? I did. Tammy yeah. Sager. Yeah. So, I don't have enough bags in the back of that door there. I know, right? Uh, one of them's mine. Um, at least one of them. Two of them are yours, at least. Where's the other one? Uh, you've got your, your, your flap Jill uh, Osprey bag. Oh, that's bag. back there? Okay. Well, never got, mind. There are two then. Yeah, there's a couple of yours, but. Claire got a, recently got a custom rotor yeah. fed. Nice. Very nice. Yeah, we were just talking about that. She was bag shaming me, Sarah. Um, uh, and I was like, yeah, that's totally all of them. It's not all of them. But anyway, somebody actually in the, the comments of that bag review said, you seem to go through bags really quickly. And I'm like, well, I mean, like, I don't go through them. <laughs> there's, yeah, they're still there. They're still there. Just, you know, it's nice to have options. So we have a few things to show. Um, and Audrey's parents actually just got to town. So we're going to, like, not do a super long stream today. Uh, she's in there making... Uh, my mom uh, is, yeah. Yeah, Audrey's mom, Deb, is in there making she angel food. She baking. Yeah. And cooking and cleaning. Like, she's very 
womanly. I, it didn't rub off on me, by me, but, you know. She's in there making me an angel food cake for my birthday, which was last month. She always makes me an angel food cake because we're kind of... That's your favorite? No, it's because it's your favorite, not because you're trying not to be terrible. No, I was going to say because we're too lazy and or cheap to... Uh... As I have the world's best donut holes Yeah, here. those are really good. There we go. Accumulate? That's right. Um, so she's making an angel food cake because, like, we haven't, like, gone to the trouble of buying a pan Yeah, we don't have stuff. the... The bunt pan? Is it's it not a bunt pan. pan. It's an angel food cake pan. It's oh, very, so very, very specific. specific. Yeah. yeah. And we don't, we just haven't done it. So she makes me those. That's great. Something always rips or comes apart. Dang, Valerie. Um, I, I mean, I have some bags like Osprey bags and stuff like that that are, um, going to make some dinner. See you later, Brian. And those have what they call the almighty guarantee. Actually, also those Cotopaxi ones have a lifetime full on guarantee as well, uh, which is pretty cool. So, so, uh, yeah, like, the thing about Ospreys is you'll get tired of a bag before it'll wear out. We've got three of them, and none of them are even a little bit worn out. But, mm -hmm. like, we don't use them regularly anymore because we've got other bags. But um, Well, I don't have a good. job that I need a backpack, so. Yeah. It, was a little bit, it was a little overkill for your... Yeah. Yeah. Any hoozle. So today we have a few things to show. Audrey has, like, three pens and a notebook. Yeah. And I've got a thing I just got from Peak Design, um, like, just the other day. and uh, so I didn't even see it until today. Yeah, when did I get that? Like Thursday or something, I think it came That's in the yesterday. mail. Is it only yesterday? Today's Friday, not Saturday. Maybe I got it Wednesday. I don't know, it was recently, but it's been bag obsession is gender neutral. Yeah, it is. Yep. So, I can I collect bags and backpacks like some women accumulate handbags? Same thing, just... Yeah. I mean, I was going to say just bigger, but not necessarily true. No, no. <laughs> so, it's true. Yep. Anyway, so we're going to show some stuff. You want to start with pens, or what do you want to start with? What do they want to start with? I don't care. Let's start with pens. Let's work our way up to the, the real fancy sailor. Well, then we get non-fancy stuff, and we'll work our way up to pens. Oh. All right. Well, we got a notebook then. Okay. And a pen. All right. So, it's right there. Bam. This is not a new pen case, <laughs> but it has a new pen. Not pen. Pin. This is another one. I think it's fun. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, not the same. They're similar with the nail polish thing. I thought it's fun. Mike always said, well, used to say those look the same, but no, they're, they're similar, not the same. So Scott Franklin from Frickin' Kristoff went to Tips last week and he brought back several things for me very, very nicely. Scott, if you're listening, you're not. That's fine. Um, <laughs> thanks for bringing all this stuff back. So one being this pen, he's like, I know that you collect these, so I thought you would add it to your flair. I didn't have my um, lanyard, so I just put it on here. But it's very bright. Very fun. That's number one. What the else? pin. The, the what do you have? Uh, what's what's in here? There's pens. Oh, there's pens in here. There's pens in there with pens. That was a teaser. Next thing is this. It's a book note. I actually I don't I don't read Japanese, so I don't really know anything about this. Uh, it's a B6. It, okay, it has it's a, a B, five B6. millimeter grid. Yep, and it's grid. It's more. Oh, the lighting's terrible. It's, it's definitely. Not terrible yellow yeah it's a bit yellowy it looks more ivory but it's definitely more yellow with pink grid it is pink huh yeah That's but it lays neat. completely flat which is really nice so yeah no matter what you're gonna have and they show on here being able to bend it around yeah any way you like yeah so that's so, pretty cool yep. we don't we haven't used it yet just got it uh like yep. made in japan you got it yesterday right Day before? Yesterday, I think. Yeah. Yep. So. Hey, Inky it. guy, what's up? Yeah. Mike Wagner said he totally bought some of the Korean sunscreen. Thanks, Audrey. <laughs> oh, let me know when you get it. Yeah, it's su it's super good. I I hope you like it as much as I do. And if you don't, you can blame me, and you know it'll be my fault. <laughs> yeah. So this Sorry. is this feels pretty nice. But it's it nice... feels nice. I haven't actually used it since you just got it, but it's fairly heavy paper. It doesn't feel like it's coated at all. No. So that's that's neat. Yep. Yeah. Anyway, so there's a Japanese notebook. We don't know anything it else about it. Nice. But... What is that, you think? I don't know. It's just like a cover. I don't think it's anything super it special. It looks like it's fabric, but it also feels coated at the same time. I think it's probably a coated like cardstock situation. That might just. Add... That's weird. You can know. actually see where the cover is. I think it's just. I think it's coated. Just a textured coating on there. Anyway. 
That's so if you, if anyone can read Japanese and knows or knows anything about that, let me know. Yeah. All right, pen time. Man, it's already pen time. Well. Well, what do you want to start with? I think you should start with the pink one. Not the one that's the roller no. Let's ball? work from uh, okay. older to newer. Okay, that's true. So remember last week I had um, pink poop that I showed. This is the other pen that I forgot at work. This is the Bung Box Sailor Valentine's Day. And it says love on here. You can't really see it, but trust me. But this also has the glitter to it. And it's the, um, what kind of trim is it? Ro uh, rhodium. Rhodium, that's what I thought. Yeah. So it's the dark. And then on the, yeah, it it's the ink tells more on here. I don't know if you can actually see it. Oops, mm. I'm going the wrong way. Oh, I'm terrible at this. It's yeah, right there on the, down the it. middle of the nib. You, yeah. can, you can see that something. It says something, yeah. yeah. But I really like the bright pink, and I like the glitter. It's pink, it's glittery, and it has the dark trim. I had to have it, so. Yeah, I think that actually looks pretty nice with the... I really like the dark trim on there. Yeah. I like that it's kind of a dark pink. Yeah, ruthenium. Isn't that what did I say? No, you said rhodium, and I oh, thought yeah, that was, I thought that was yeah. regular silver. I'm like, maybe I'm wrong, so I didn't question you. So, yes, thank yeah. you. It is Yeah, ruthenium, there you go. Sparkly pink with gunmetal furniture, a bold look. It Fair. is, yeah. I wouldn't. I wasn't sure how I'd like it in person because I thought that the regular rhodium trim would fit better. But no, I actually really like it in person. <laughs> Ink guy says, "I hate sailor pins. They all write so amazing. I can't afford to look at them." <laughs> yeah, fair, I get it. And this one is also a hard broad. So these are. Um, is that a full size Pro Gear, or is that a Pro Gear Slim? This is a Slim. Hmm. Yep. Slim. Looks, looks kind of bigger than I thought. Yeah, the Pro Gear Slims aren't really all that expensive. This one was a little bit hard to get, so like that adds to the cost. But yeah, Pro Gear Slims are uh, definitely on the affordable side of Sailor for sure. Uh, for me, they're just I I don't know. I feel like I could use one if I. You're I've, not the only guy who says, "Oh, it's the slim. I don't want it." Well, unposted, it's really just kind of too small. Like it just comes to here, but. In my hand. Yeah. So your hand is way smaller than mine. Well, right? I think I choke up on a little bit more than you do. Yeah, I gotta get to the paper. Because you go all, like, way oh, I'm like on the back. threads. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I do. I kind of hold higher mm -hmm. up. If you actually but. go move it down, I think you'd be fine. See? You're good to go. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, that, that might work. Post it, it's fine, though. Mm -hmm. I know. I'm a monster. I post pens. Me too. Well, I mean, sometimes <laughs> I do. It depends yeah. on the pen. So there's one. So there's one. What else did you get? I also, well, you also got one. Well. We got Shiba Inus. The cutest Shiba Inus as well. Pastel Shiba, I believe. Something like that, yeah. Yeah. So it's the Pen Addict, Retro 51, oh. Ink. What is the other one? Um, Mint something. Mint Lodica. Mint she Mint. has Shiba Inus. I follow her on Instagram uh, now. Okay. Yeah. This is the this is the packaging. I haven't opened mine yet. The pastel Shiba. Well, it's very special. Yeah. And um, then the top has a bone. It sort of looks like a bow sometimes too. Yeah, I'd believe you if you told me it was a bow. But what's wrong with posting? I don't know. Some people like to just joke that it's kind of, that only monsters post their pens. There's Mr. Is Nose. It, is the fit and <laughs> Thanks, finish bud. better on the special editions than on the regular ones? No, the same one. Number ones always feel a little cheap to me. Um, I. I I think, I mean, probably if the materials... Oh, no. Nose. What he... Nose is caught in a corner now, so... Yeah, he just got himself into a corner. That'll be great. Um, so, what's a Shiba? A Shiba Inu is a type of dog. It's a smallish... Not that small. Well, it's small-ish. And if you remember a few years ago, oh man, it, I say a few, but it's been many years. They had the puppy cam, like one of the first puppy cams of watching these Shiba Inus growing up. It was very cute. I, I Those enjoyed are, it. That's a Shiba Inu. And they, are they the ones that have the weird bark or is that Basenji? Uh, Basenji's. No, oh, never mind then. Basenji's yodel, they don't bark. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's a little, it's a little dog. I think they come from Japan or something, but it's in the like eighteen to twenty pound range. It's a scraggle sized dog. Yeah, it's pretty small. Stuff makes it look like it's bigger. I don't know. Nope. <laughs> it's a smallish dog, okay. knee height. Anyway, that's a that's a Shiba Inu. They're a cute little dog. Yeah. 
when you use retros more than you do than you use them yeah i I um, use mine at work every day so mm. people think it's weird that i work at a fountain pen company but i use my retros every day but we have cheap copy paper sometimes and sometimes you need a ballpoint Mm mm-hmm yeah i use them at pin shows a lot uh like if i'm working for a company like franklin christoph or the andersons or whoever uh because like if you're you know writing notes about like what's sold or whatever or you're writing down like at franklin christoph is this whole sheet that you fill out (laughs) yeah every single pin you gotta ask like 15 questions questions. it's ridiculous and uh, i mean it's very helpful because it means i can just pass it down and then they can work on it you don't actually have to be there so it works but it is kind of it is a lot of writing stuff so mm-hmm. if you have to use a fountain pen you're like uncapping a thing you know, deal with a cap and writing on writing all wonky because you're holding a piece of paper mm-hmm. on a little clipboard in your hand so and it can bleed through the terrible paper so you have to have yeah even scott doesn't give good and... doesn't use good paper for that so no. uh, yeah so it's easier to uh just use a ballpoint or something so yeah. i use those for that a lot yeah um, also I tend to, uh, just carry, I carry both a fountain pen and a rollerball or a ballpoint or whatever with me just cause vanishing point. Yeah. The vanishing point works pretty okay. But, um, again, the paper is usually pretty bad. Um, just cause that's what people use. And, uh, it's I not... sign cards with my decimo and uh-huh. fountain pen. So I have yeah. that, but I also have a. Sounds like an ideal trip. situation for a pencil. Yeah. I mean, if you don't mind it getting all smudged and yeah, exactly. like, looking all pale and you can't read it and you have to write with a pencil and it's no good and you can't just scribble it out you can erase and it looks terrible yeah i don't, just know. I don't know i just don't yeah why the p word <laughs> what, what is the p word pencil oh right oh. <laughs> so that's two so audrey's on a roll she got another pen i got another pen yep if you follow me on instagram at the nib doctor you have seen this already yep Mike probably will post it on his Instagram as well, just because it's people have been really excited about it, it actually, which I am very, very happy to have it. And thanks again to Scott for picking it up for me, because I really like it. Yeah, it's real pretty. Uh, fight against cheap paper, carry an alternate pen, a Sharpie. Oof. That'll do it. That'll show them. Audrey got a special pen. She did. You carry I a ballpoint in case someone needs to borrow a pen. Same Z's. Yep. All right, so here's this pen. Magic of Alice is here. Did I put this in the right line? (laughs) Nope. Nope, probably not. So this is a uh, Pro Gear Slim, just like the the pink one there, that was made just for the Tokyo Pin Show. Yep. It was a bung box one, right? Yep, bung box one. Yep. So it has the usual stuff in here. Actually, I don't know what this says, but this was included in it, (laughs) so... I need to translate this because every I saw pictures of it. It was like sort of sitting open like this. Was, so. Here, I'll see if I can use Google Translate on it. Yeah, I have you no idea. Pen. And then the bung box. People don't care about that. They okay. want to see the pen. Okay, I'm just going. And you know what? <laughs> I like controversy. And my controversy is I really like these cartridges and I use them. I'm calm sorry. Down, calm I like down. cartridges. Well, those cartridges, at least. Yeah, sure. Sailor cartridges are usually better than Sailor converters. <laughs> well, fair. So, this is Alice. The main thing that people will be excited about is the rod and top. So, hopefully, it's translating to this. But, one thing I was unsure of, this is actually gold trim. I am always dubious. I... I'm very particular about what works well with gold trim. I generally don't like it. This, it goes well. Why? I don't know. But it also has, I don't know if you can actually see it on this camera, but it's a... uh, Cover more of the camera space with like something close to it. Wait, you do it then. I don't know what you're talking about. I mean like, don't give it much else to focus on. It usually helps. That's you can sort of tell. It's a key, but nothing really else on there. It's nondescript for the most part, except for the key. It does have the usual uh, on the side what kind of nib it is. This I told Scott I didn't care. I'm like, if you can get the pen, I do not care what nib you get put on it. So uh, this is a hard fine. No, you didn't see it at the San Francisco pen show. I don't. That at least was probably not. I mean. I don't know how you could have unless you talked to Karu. I 
Yeah, maybe Carew had one. I, I don't know. We I didn't see it. I just for saw sure. it on Instagram like a week before the show. I think so. Oh, and then the barrel has like little speckles in it. Yeah. So I don't know if you knew that, but I didn't. I don't know how do you make that thing focus. Nope. Sorry, guys. Just but trust won't me. Do it, man. But there is slight. Oh wait, you know what? I <laughs> I know why it's doing that. Hold on a sec. It's because I turned off the autofocus. Oh, well, that will definitely do it then. Because it, yeah, hold on. Hold on. Put it into place and then I'll focus on it. It's probably about as good as it's going to get. What about the cap? Can you see it in the cap? If you hold it still. Wait, there's speckles in the cap? Yeah. No? Nobody can see that? Well. You gotta stop moving it. It's you just hold still. <laughs> so I'm trying to move this little slider and watch. There we go. So now it's focused right where the cap is. So if you move the move it, other things into that plane. Yeah, you can kind of see the speckles. Yeah, you can't really see it in the body on this. Oh, there's a few. There's a few. You can see them. Yeah, you can barely see them in the cap in real life. But yeah, it's very subtle. I think it's pretty cool. But it says Magic of Alice on the thing here. <laughs> Somebody told us not to argue. <laughs> Sorry, we're, we've got uh, too many things going on on the screen here at once. <laughs> so. Yeah, anyway, real pretty, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh. There, that's good enough. All right. Yeah, good. Man, that, so this desk camera over here that I have, which actually is like right, oh man, my back is right here <laughs> next to us. Oh, you're so old. I know. <laughs> I, I, I finished an awesome swim today and then I got home and I like turned this way. I'm like, oh, my, oh, oh, I just did it again. <laughs> you did what that one specific thing that's that's, that's what i did it. oh man i don't know why that hurts um but the thing is this camera for whatever reason uh i have to set it at like i have to set the focus manually otherwise it just freaks out because i think yeah. it's too close to the table or yeah. i don't know what but um it's very it's very picky i don't uh, and it's the exact same camera that we're looking into too it's same same thing i don't yep. know man anyway so uh yeah no we're not we're not arguing just no. trying to <laughs> just trying to get our get our stuff together here i don't know about the camera and yeah I'm well with any other normal well. camera camera it would auto focus yeah but this one like i'm so she's moving it and i'm trying to focus on like one depth oh, we're doing very different <laughs> yeah. things so, unfortunately yeah no don't worry about it well, i'll but, try yeah, and take yeah. pictures as well so yeah no this is real pretty and i'm like yeah. I was a little dubious. She's like, I have you to have this. Super, and I'm like, yeah. okay, if you want, I guess. But uh, it's gorgeous, actually. So I'm glad you got one. It looks dope. Yep. I actually like that pink one too. Like I would use that pink one. No, you wouldn't. I think I might. Like I think That's it's a dark bra. enough, and it's got that like gunmetal thing going on. Mm -hmm. I think it's got enough like I don't know, dude stuff. So not that it really matters for you. Uh yeah, not too much. Like the Shiba Inu is a little bit on the girly side for me. Just Would like, you use the Shiba little... Inu over the birds and the bees that I got? I don't even know which one that is. The one that has the birds and the bees on it? No, sorry, that doesn't help. It's blue and it has birds and bees and it has a little <laughs> bee on the top? I don't remember it at all. <laughs> it's at work, so I can't actually show you. <laughs> nope, doesn't exist. But you <laughs> so... said this is really girly, so I don't know if I can have it. So that's why I was saying. Um, yeah, also these are numbered. So Audrey got number 412 for her birthday. Yep. So that's What'd you get? I got number 69. Zero six nine. Mm -hmm. uh, I asked for mm -hmm. forty two, but that was uh, that was taken. So I got one of those dude stuff indeed. Yep. Hey Rick. Um, so this is the other thing that I got, and I just got this the other day. And I was just saying she only just heard about it. Noise. Um, and uh, this is the Peak Design Tech Pouch, which Peak Design actually. If I can, this one, this bag right here is a Peak Design. This messenger. And they make really good stuff. And this is stupid, but what is Sailor slash Bung Box? Oh, so Sailor is a pen company. They make pens like this and lots of other ones. They're in Japan. Um, and yeah, yeah, Japanese pen maker. Mm -hmm. uh, and Bunga Box is a store in Japan. And so. they sometimes collaborate with Sailor for special editions. And this yeah. was a special edition 
Sailor made the pen, and they sold it at Moonbox. Yep. So, uh, yeah, so that's what that is. And inks. They do a lot of inks as well. You they do a think. whole bunch of inks. Yeah, the inks yeah. are real expensive when you get the Sailor inks mm-hmm. through Bunga Box, and then you have to get them shipped here. It's, it makes yeah. them like 35 bucks a bottle. They're quite spendy. I thought it was more than that, but... Yeah. I think it's 30... Like people I want to say it's 33 like to 35, something like that. 40. I don't... I Again, I don't know. Could be. I don't know. I don't know. Pink with black trim totally works for guys. Yeah, I think yeah. so too. Peak, there goes a spare coin. Well, I got it secondhand, yeah. so I got a, a nice deal on it online. Uh, when I first saw it, I'm like, oh, that's nice. And the the real fancy and interesting stuff is in the inside with this one, I think. I have loads of sailors but I didn't know about Bunga Box. Sounds great. Cool. Oh, yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, I mean, if you're... I mean, if you're just over here, they're hard to get a hold of because they don't actually ship here, right? Bung bo- so from what I've heard from people, I haven't done this, but if you email, or is it, yeah, I think you can email them and they mm. might be able to. I mm. might be mixing it up with Nagasawa though. I know Nagasawa people have said, because they have also, they're a store mm. and they have special editions with Sailor. If you email them or DM, I hear they invoice you and then you can do it straight that way oh. but i thought with bum box hmm. it wasn't kingdom note i don't i think kingdom note i think it's more difficult i oh. could be wrong people do that i'm more I'm than not, often than i do i'm not good at it um yeah just go to yeah just go to tokyo and just go to tokyo that. I mean, that that's sounds right. awesome i, I would love a, to yeah you can use a reshipper that's what people usually yeah. do is you get yourself like a like technically a, a P.O. box basically yeah. in Japan and then somebody goes and gets it and then wraps it up for you and sends it. But And they can get yeah. lots of packages oh. if you, you know. Claire says that Bung Box will ship to the U.S. if you don't. email Okay. Them. Cool. Um, oh, <laughs> I was having a good time with this. Yeah, and can um, you have to use a reshipper. Yeah, that's right. Let's see. Right. Uh, there's the desk. So, um, this fun thing. Oh. Uh, Google Translate did a super great job. It cannot decide about what this says. The magic of ass. Oh, <laughs> oh sorry. no! That's what it says. Don't. Oh. I will send you the. Whoa. Oh my gosh! What the heck? Asus disease. Nine Dream seven nine. Only gentleman is a lady. Yeah. So this is. Um, yeah. <laughs> it doesn't work. <laughs> no, it didn't say anus. It says Asus, like the shoes. No, it did say anus. Oh, did it? Yes, it did at one time. <laughs> well. Yeah. So the answer is that who knows what that says. So this is the uh, the Peak Design. There's the Peak Design logo. These usually go for like uh, I want to say sixty five or seventy bucks or something. Which when you're looking at that, I mean, it looks nice, but I'm sitting there going, "What?" Yeah. But I know Peak Design is there's more going on to it that do, does make up for their cost that they are. Yeah, they're expensive, but they're always super well made and thoughtful. So you got like all these like interesting handles and stuff. I don't really know what to use these for. Maybe attachment points Valid for stuff. I want you to hold it up to the camera. And does the US customs apply to sales tax to incoming international packages? Uh yeah, uh, like Claire says, in theory, yes, but I don't know. Could it be I vertical writing. I've oh. never um I mean I don't want to jinx it, but I've not been charged any customs fees from any Japan, China, Korea, any of those places. I've never had. Oh, you mean like put this up here so you can see it? There you go. No, it's not vertical writing. Um, or if it is, my Google Translate cannot figure that out. And it was sitting this way in the... Or maybe... It, yeah, Somebody's it trying to dot, read that dot, dot. Right? Sorry, so that has to be the right way. <laughs> yeah. There you go. So, uh, yeah. Easy to find if you Google translate oh, the page okay. in Chrome. Oh, the mm-hmm. contact form for international orders. Closer? Well, if yeah. I go closer, it's going to get out of focus. In Germany, yeah, working for FC, we hear a lot from people from different countries where it can get very expensive to do uh, any international customs. can get really spendy, unfortunately. Oh, you got it, Valerie? My hand's getting tired. <laughs> it's all about swimming. It is. It is. Ugh. My watch has told me my rings are way ahead of usual for this time of day. Nice. It usually tells me when yeah. my exercise is low and what am I doing. Nice. <laughs> so anyway, back to this while I yeah. finish it. You've got uh, like loops here for things like straps and whatnot. You've got like attachment points here, which are cool. Uh, and then it has this one big, well, there's one small zipper in the back. That's just like a little pocket, a little stuff. Yeah, nice. yeah, Craig says it. he can read some of it. Oh, that's cool. Oh. Um, I'll take a 
picture and put it on Slack actually for you. How about that? Um, if I can remember how, let's see, where is she? I'm in the UK. One sec, folks, while I take a picture and send it to somebody you can't see. Do you want me to open this up? So, Peak Design... No, I don't know anything about bags. <laughs> but... There you go. All right, I sent it to you, Valerie. So the fancy Pe stuff is this. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> so, you open up this, like, pretty unassuming little, yeah. little uh, like, box... Which has a really interesting feel it to it. Yeah. I don't, I don't know what that is exactly, it, but it feels like the cover of that notebook. Yeah, that, plasticized yeah. or rubberized or something. So inside here, the, the tech pouch is made of yeah, expando bag indeed, yeah. right? So like, look at all this stuff. I just like packed a bunch of stuff in here that otherwise I would have to hunt through drawers for. I think I'll use this when I go um, to pin shows and whatnot. Yeah. To throw all of our various electronical doodads in, mm -hmm. um, but I've got charger cables. There's little pockets in the side here. There's these pockets, which are made of like this very nice soft, but not super stretchy. Like it's got a little bit of a stretch to it, a little stretchy bit. That's that's a light battery. There's your camera batteries. I haven't got anything in the middle here yet, but I will. Uh, I'm in, eating a donut. Yep. Sorry. <laughs> Nobody would have known. Inside here, you have like an extra zipper bit, and these are for, I think, SD cards is what these seem sized right for. Uh, so all kinds of stuff in there. Mm -hmm. And then I've got um, ear pods in here, nothing in there at the moment. Chargers over here of various kinds. Uh, this thing is just like, it's very cool. It's like a TARDIS. It's a little bit like a yeah. TARDIS, like the inside of a minimalist wallet. Sarah oh, that's knows. cool. Yep, nose is here. So uh, just, the, just the tip? Just the tail. There we go. Hi, bud. How's it going? So, uh, yeah, that's the inside of a tech pouch. And it's not really stiff. I thought it would be harder than it is. Yeah. Like, it holds its shape. Yeah. But it's not stiff. Like, it's still squinchy. So it's not going to provide... Squinchy. Yeah, squinchy. I think that's the technical term Te for it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but, uh, so it's not going to be, like, a huge amount of protection or whatever for the stuff in there, but some. Yeah. But it's mostly, like, organization. Man, these zippers feel so good. But... Yeah, they have. They're like weather guard a, zippers. Yeah, weather guard YKKs. The word, yeah. So they've got the like the weatherproofing stuff on there. Bidet review next week. <laughs> we were talking in the Slack about bidets because somebody posted a video about like why bidets are awesome. And it's now like the Toto toilet. Yeah. Oh but, how, yeah, I listen every day. I'm Howard talks about how he oh, really? loves the Toto and that's his favorite thing ever. So you yeah. can get them that like are an attachment that you put underneath the toilet seat. And they're like twenty five bucks on Amazon. I might, didn't know. We might get a bidet. So somebody's like, you should review it. I'm like, mm, that'd be hilarious. That, <laughs> so that's that a little weird. <laughs> I don't know if that's... <laughs> but uh, yeah, anyway, so that's my new uh, tech pouch slash gadget pouch thing. Uh, yeah, I would get one if there, somebody else sold one. That's yeah, cool. maybe we'll find another one. Maybe. But um, our friend Franklin got the... Uh, dot uh, kit. Yeah, the dot kit one, which I, I almost grabbed both. But I was like, mm, I've already got a dot kit that I like pretty well, so... I'm good, but yeah, peak design, man. Cool stuff. Need a Japanese toilet? Yeah, those are, mm -hmm. like, in Japan, apparently toilets are all robots. Yep. So, that's how you get fired for adult content. <laughs> yeah, it's got a seat warmer. I think they come with, like, seat coolers and stuff. Mm, They're probably. Uh, very fancy, so. I'm trying to decide if the bidet comment was a troll. I'm glad you let it ride. <laughs> no, that was not a troll, actually. Nope, that was, uh, was a thing from the uh, from the Slack. Yep. So, yeah, there we go. Let's see. What is this? What's going on over here? I got a notification. Uh, oh. <laughs> well, it was just saying the notifications are off. So, um, it sounds stupid, but you did Japanese at school. It built, but 40 years ago. Looking at the symbols, it almost looks like a mirror image. Huh. Oh. I don't know. It very well could be. I cannot read it at all. It doesn't... And my phone was freaking right out, so... I don't know, one of these days, I think it would be really cool to learn Japanese, like to learn to read it, but... I know a couple of them, and they're all based on Mario, and... Really? Like the game Mario, yes, there's lots of Japanese, um, from Mario Maker, people who do different titles, and I know Speedrun, if there's... I know the symbol for Speedrun, unfortunately it's not helping in this one instance. They're not talking about... Uh, They're not talking about speedruns Ali in the Alice, Alice <laughs> isn't, in Wonderland. Alice right isn't now. going fast? No. Nope. That's not what this is? No. Nope. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Uh, after the video, I'll have Craig look at the picky scent. Thanks. Thanks. 
Um, if uh, if we get any kind of translation on that, I will. Um... Not things such as. Yep. The ones that were being shown. I, I'll. Wow, I won't interesting. Repeat. So, <laughs> Jeremy says, "Wow, the Dop kid is named kid is named after Charles Doplet." Um, yeah, look at that. I think it's interesting that the man's version of a toiletry bag is called the Dop kit, whereas a woman's is just a cosmetics bag. I think they should just all. They probably should all be called Dop kits. Right? I've not seen for a woman's version ever anything called the names arise from the early 20th century leather craftsman charles doplet a german immigrant to the united states who invented the toiletry case in 1919 so you know toiletry sure case it came before i'm just saying on yeah. the websites and things i've never heard anyone use it for a his company was pur- purchased by samsonite in the 70s huh huh interesting anyway cool i had no idea it was named after a person i don't know it's a place where you Put your dops. You gotta the, put, you gotta put dops. your dops in a thing. You do have your to dops. have a place for your dops. Yeah. So um, yeah, that's um, that's that's what we got. That's what's up this Pretty week. Much it. Yeah, this week. Well, for me, it's even though it's not many things, it's intensely. Expensive. Not many things. Your things are great. What are you talking about? You have cool stuff. Cool stuff that just happened to come in. So. Yep. Uh, next week, I will probably have um, a thing from Jet Pens to show. Uh, I got a. I may have put in a jet pins order. It's a very small jet pins order. All I got was a planner and a bottle of ink. Hmm. It's not huge, but I still have not purchased the star ruby that I've wanted. Uh, but it'll be around I, for a little while. Will it? Well, it's very pretty, and I still want it. Uh, here again are a kind of fifty-six letter letter phoneme alphabet. The pictorial symbols are called kanji, and here it is in China many centuries ago. So I knew they were called kanji in China, yeah. but I didn't know they were called kanji in, J- in Japan, and I didn't want to look like a dummy. So thanks very much for uh, telling me that, Martin. I feel uh, like uh, less of a dummy. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, cool. Cool, cool, cool. So, uh, oh, hey, what's up, Tommy? Um, yeah, so I've got um, I've got my new planner for next year coming this week, hopefully. Six months, right? All of it. Oh, you bought both of them at the same time? They don't, it comes oh, in only do? Pack. Oh. Um, I ended up getting the Hobonichi cousin. Hobonichi, is it the Techo cousin? Anyway, the cousin one, like the, the A5 te- size. I don't know. The Techo is probably it's, the smaller one or yeah. something. Or anyway, whatever. I got the the cousin, which is the, the A5 six. size. Yeah, you got the A5. And it's uh, six months at a time. It's the mm-hmm. AVEC style. But I don't know. We'll see how it goes this year. Um, hopefully, I, hopefully, I love it. I mean... It's got days, weeks, it's got monthly view, it's got all the things. I think you so. should get the other one, too. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, it means planner, but oh. usually people use it in terms of the A6 yeah. version for whatever reason. Let's see what I actually got. What did I get? Come on, let's go. Um, That's the cousin book. Yeah, they call it the cousin, the Techo cousin book. Yep. Cool. Yep. There we go. That's what I ended up with. This one. The A5 Techo Cousin AVEC two book set Monday start week 2020 January start. Just flows off the tongue. It really does just trip right off the old tongue. So, yep. Takes care of the new planner itch? Yeah, I bet so. Do you need any of the compatible products? Because there are 26 of them. No, I didn't get any products with it. Um, I actually, I have several A5 things that I'm not sure what I'm going to use it in. We'll see how it goes. Um, but Do I've you got... the cover? Do they have a cover? No, I didn't get Or is it only this A6 that comes uh, There are covers, but I've got so many A5 covers. Hmm. Um, I've got the Franklin Kristoff one. I've got this one from Kernow down here that I'm not using at the moment. Wow. Um, I know. Well, I used it all last year, yeah, and so I'm, I'm taking a break. Um, I've got this one from Cole River. Um, I've got my rotor fat and Tashima glider. I've got a lot of those things. That just rolls off the tongue too. I think it really does. It's really, I like it. Um, get to take it. Uh, yeah. Oh, oh, switching is what takes care of new planner edge. I'm a little bit dubious about the six month thing because I don't know. It should work pretty well. I think for like, cause that's basically a semester, but on the other hand, sometimes that's I have true. to plan stuff for the next semester, but I'll have both of them at the same time, so I can just like put it in the next one. Mm-hmm. I, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. I think it'll be fine. But yeah, a, Hobo A5 covers are mad expensive. That is also true. I'm sure that's true. Yeah, I looked at a bunch of those, and I was like, whew. Well, I think you can just look at the... Oh, oh where? The compatible products and yeah. things like that. Yeah. 
Yeah, they are. Um, cousin and cover. Seventy-seven dollars looks like the cheapest. That's the cover set. I don't know. That's also got the book in it. Oh well. Um, so that's not. That's actually not too no. bad. Just I don't know if I can get just the cover though. So you could have gotten the clear one. That's what I was talking about. Not a cover cover, um, but like the clear one. This thing. Yeah. Because they used, I believe those only used to be able to be available in, when you ordered from the store, but they've expanded that. Oh, interesting. Well, that's from Midori. That's not a Hobonichi. Oh, well, but it maybe is, that's true. It's in the compatible stuff. Yeah. But yeah, most of these look like they come with the cover. And so this one, like this one's 81 bucks, but it's got a lot of wild stuff going on. Oh, yeah. And it comes with a book. Like it comes with the, the planner. And the planner is like 52. So that's only like 30. I guess that's not, that's not terrible for a cover because... Those yeah. don't really. Uh, where's the Patreon link in my overlay? Mm, I guess I don't have one in my overlay, Tommy. Uh, Mini Nami paper cheap covers fit. Oh, that's cool. Oh. Yeah, interesting. Um, yeah, I haven't gotten any Nami stuff, actually. Oh, maybe they do. Uh, oh. They probably... Well, I don't know. Probably. Those seven seeds are pretty big. Like They're probably as thick as a Hobonichi, I would say. Probably. Yeah, see how it goes. Or is it more tricky to make than you would expect? Yeah, I'm, I'm, sh yeah, I'm, I'm not sure. surprised. Yeah. That's why I'm, I, I mean, 30 isn't crazy. No. And this has got a lot of, got a lot of pockets and all kinds of stuff in there. Mm -hmm. Loops for pens and stuff. Yeah. Oh, can you grab that Coal Creek one right there? It's underneath a bunch of stuff right at the moment. Yeah. I did clean off this table, but. Well, I, I put a lot of things here. It's, yeah. It's um, so this is the Coal Creek one I got. And, um, wait, am I saying that right? Is it Coal Creek? Yep, Cold Creek Leather. And this cover feels great and looks very cool, but it has the pin loop on the inside here, and it kind of gets bound up when you do this. Um, and I was pretty disappointed because, like, I, when I put a pin in there, I actually can't get it to close because it just kind of wraps around with it. And so I was about to... I was looking, actually, for the email, which um, <laughs> is actually on the card, uh, but I was just, like, Googling around. And so I started looking at the pictures on the Cold Creek site, and all of these covers are actually using a thicker notebook. So this is just a little like Fool's University notebook. Yeah. It's very thin. But when you use a thicker notebook, it actually pops out more. And then this still reaches, but the pen just kind of nestles in here. So um, sometimes when a thing doesn't work as you expect it to, that's kind of on you. <laughs> so like <laughs> I, uh, I found the fix. Before I complained, which is, uh, I think, well, <laughs> I'm well, glad I did glad that. You that. I'd be like, hey, man, I can't get this to work. Well, that's because I'm using a tiny yeah. little thin thing in it. But this might actually be what my Hobonichi goes in. We'll see. Yeah, okay. Because I, I really like this. Anyway, yeah, it's fine. Um, I got to do a review on that pretty soon, but I haven't yet. So there we go. All right, folks, it is 5.51. It's been almost an hour, and I said it was going to be a short one. So it's only kind of short one. No, I mean, I derailed this a few times. So we're doing good. No, we were totally on the rails. All rails, all the time, man. Yeah. Using the cover as design makes all the features work. Imagine that. Right? I talked about donuts. Well, I ate one of them. Uh, yeah, me too. That's good. No, you didn't. I had one before, before we started. Oh, it was before Right the before we started. Um, yeah, so, yeah, using a thing as designed. Also, I just I didn't really know how it was designed because when I got it, it was empty, and he was selling them empty at the, at the show um, in San Francisco. A really cool thing, actually, is this is made for... Um, uh, Lloyd's term notebooks specifically mm. and they have this um, uh, the elastic thing it goes around the back cover and goes around the front or whatever yeah. it's attached to the back and goes around the front and this is built so that you can put that through here and then still use it as design and put the elastic across the uh, book that's nice. which is I think a really nice little design feature yeah. so that's cool yeah sometimes it is user error yep it for sure, sure. I try to weed those out before I do reviews so you know have a lovely week and enjoy the hell out of that cake. Oh, I'm oh, gonna. Oh, he will. She's also making Butterfinger cookies, which I'm also a big fan and of. And who knows what else? I mean, she makes some. She's much. only gotten, she got here like an hour ago and she's already started baking. Yeah. So, two hours ago, I guess. Yeah. She's already started baking, so. Yep. Any hoozle. Thanks very much for joining us today. We appreciate it. And we'll see you next week. Same bat time and channel. And channel, yeah. A little, uh, yummy? Yeah, it's gonna be. I'm gonna eat it all. Okay. I was just looking at the scale today and, uh, and I was like, oh, that's a nice, that's a good number. Well, bye bye that number. Is what like, oh, I did lose weight. Thanks. I did. Well, I, I'm going to, I found it yes, and it's in cookies. Butterfinger cookies. Yes. Yeah. And okay. they're as good as they sound. Yeah. 
She's really good at it. People ask for the recipe, but for whatever reason, the recipe doesn't translate well. She's like, I just sort of eyeball things, and that's not really good for baking, obviously. <laughs> it's not good for telling other people how to bake it. Of it works course. fine for her. Yeah. <laughs> so, anyway, that's it. We'll see y'all uh, next week on uh, 5 o'clock next Friday. Peace out. We will tell the critters hi Peace and give out. them all pets for you. See ya. Bye, Bye, folks. Say goodbye, Audrey. Bye, Audrey. There you go.